what was witnessed by many people across North Georgia and certainly the metro Atlanta area of a um, fireball, sometimes called a bolide, coming in through the atmosphere. It just broke apart in its flight, probably a, a couple of miles still up in the atmosphere. And then those pieces made it to the ground as individual meteorites. But one of them actually penetrated a house, went right through the, through the roof, through the ceiling, and into the floor. And uh, we've had the, um, the, the pleasure of ha and the opportunity to uh, examine that, both the, the, the rock as well as the dynamics of entry through the house. Understanding what caused that. Was this the velocity that it maintained simply flying through the air? Was it an extra kick from that disruption in the air? Where in that process did it get the momentum that we see evidence for in the collision? There's a link between the physics of going through something and, and the materials though in terms of their strength. A lot of these asteroids have undergone a lot of collisions, a lot of internal damage billions of years before they encounter Earth. So we think it may have still been traveling uh, at least many, many hundreds of meters per second, even up to as much as one kilometer per second as it went through the house. The homeowner was about, four, we measured it exactly, it was uh, 14 feet away. So still to this day, we have only one um, absolute clear record of a person being hit back um, in the mid-1900s in Salacaga, Alabama. Impacts, whether they be large or small, are the only thing that we have a potential of actually stopping if we have enough information in advance about them.